so here in this video we're going to talk about the ph and poh i am seen this terms a lot of times in your regular life or in your previous classes a uh, ph and poh so ph sometimes terms as potential of hydrogen how much potential does the hydrogen have in that in solution but uh, if we go to the uh, quantitative term so what is ph what is ph so ph concentration of h plus ions is expressed in terms of negative power of 10 and numerical value of that negative power is known as ph what does it mean it mean let's say concentration of h plus is 10 to the power is 10 to the power minus x so here x is ph so whenever the hydrogen concentration in the particular solution is expressed like 10 to the power negative of something but something is known as the ph right so h plus is 10 to power negative of ph so if we take the logarithm on both of the side then log of h plus we know if we are taking the logarithm uh, we are using the base 10 right so on using the base 10 uh, that term will become negative of ph so here ph comes out to be negative of log h plus so what ph is written as negative of log of concentration of h plus so if we do the relation uh, see the relation between a ph and concentration of h plus so ph is inversely in proportional to the concentration of h plus example concentration of h plus is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 negative of 3 then we could write 2 as a 10 to the power 0.3 into 10 to the power negative of 3 so it will become 10 to the power is negative of 2.7 so the ph will become 2.7 but every time we we gonna not uh, uh, doing the stuff like we gonna never write like 2 as 10 to the power 0.3 So what is actually? Actually, this is the log value, like log two is zero point three, log three is zero point four eight, log five is zero point seven, and log seven is zero point eight five. Similar, we could write the POH. pH concentration of O minus is ten to the power minus negative of Y. So Y here is pOH. So concentration of OH minus is ten to the power negative of pOH. So log OH negative is negative of pOH. So pOH is negative of log OH negative. So here the term we use it is called POH negative of uh, OH negative. 
so that's how we do write the terms ph and poh now we're going to introduce a very new terms that uh, actually we have seen in uh, chemical equilibrium the term kc and kp here we're going to use the term a lot of k but here now 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 we are using ka and kb so k is acid dissociation constant and kb here is uh, dissociation constant for bases on k could also be write, written as uh, k is also k is defined for acids and remember cations also we're gonna look forward why we are telling it's for cation and similarly kb is defined for bases and anions so how cations and how anions it is defined for now first of all we're going to write uh, case one we are using it for acids right uh, we have acetic acid which is dissolving in like ch3coo negative then h positive the acetic acid and is ionic equilibrium so it is dissolving into in like this right ch3coo negative then h positive now ka uh, this is acid right so we will be using the dissociation constant term right ka is ch3coo negative then h positive divided by ch3cooh second uh so all the acids which are dissociating like this we do do like this more example formic acid scooh and all the mono basic weak acid which give one h plus but what when it gives two h plus like h2 s h2 is dissociates like h plus then h s negative so h plus h s negative upon h2s it is equal to ka1 h s negative dissociates to h plus and s negative 2 so h plus s negative 2 divided by h s negative. i hope you all understand why do i writing like this the concentration of product divided by reacted i'll prefer you to go through the chemical equilibrium first then use all these in ionic equilibrium there we have understood why we are writing this if i explain in brief k forward becomes equals to k backward uh, we equate the law of mass action where the equilibrium is established then the forward by backward the ratio of the both the uh, constant uh, is right written as a dissociation constant so particularly in case of acid we give k1 now when acid is losing one more h plus we is writing it as a k a2 now what if the acid is dissociated into three part like uh, if i write a triprotic acid h3po4 first of all will give h2po4 negative then h positive h2po4 negative will give hpo4 negative to then h positive and hpo4 negative 2 gives po4 negative 3 then h of positive now um, here we are writing in as a ka1 ka2 and ka3 so i am not writing the dissociation constant uh, expression you could write as 2 po4 negative then h positive divided by s3 po4 but i could write like it as ka1 a constant is defined as ka2 and another constant is defined as ka3 so ka1 is greater than ka2 is greater than ka3 and so on if we have uh, if, uh, many hard, uh, many rare case, we can say uh, when I said K4, K5, but uh, hypothetically, if some 
problem is given then you could write to Johnson KM4 KM5 but why are you all that's no acid that we use in ionic equilibrium uh, it could be organic acid but most of the inorganic acid has restricted to 3 cation okay 3 H plus so K1 K2 K3 and so on the value of K1 is more why because uh, there is a very easy to put a positive H plus H positive from a neutral uh, substance but when we try to pull out the H positive from a ionic substance that reduces uh, when negative 2 out of we are pulling H plus then the value is very less so it is going for one a longer extent than again least uh, and lesser and least so the value of K is keep on decreasing so that was about the uh, acids but what uh, I have told you that K is also defined for cations uh, let's say case I am writing it for ions like first of all NH4 positive on reacting with H2O it will give NH4OH then H positive so a cation is reacting with water and releasing the H plus and the same acting as a acid right it is losing H plus it is releasing H plus right so we could write Ka terms for also this so Ka we could write for NH4 plus or we could write KH hydrolysis constant for NH4 plus right why KH because it is reacting with water so we gonna study it further we could write it as a KH and Ka for NH4 uh, so it is known as hydrolysis constant what does hydrolysis mean reacting with water right so it could write as a NH4OH into H plus divided by NH4 plus so it is uh, K right but what if uh, the cation is like uh, having could react with one uh, two moles of water like second case Z, uh, ZN plus 2 if you look at the case this ZN plus 2 ZN plus 2 when react with water one mole of water one mole of ZN plus 2 react with one mole of water we have ZN OH positive then H positive so Ka1 then or we can say KH1 equals to uh, ZN OH positive multiply by H positive divided by ZN plus 2 why we are not using the water we know water is not changing with time the concentration will not change so it is a constant so when it multiply with ionic constant on the right, uh, left hand side so it will be written as k we do not use the water because the concentration of water is not changing with time so it will keep in the, remain in the constant so better we kept it with the constant and give a new term that is k but and it could also react with one mole of water so ZN OH plus react with H2O again. So it will form ZN OH2 plus H plus. So KA2 or we can write as a KH2. It is equal to ZN OH one twice multiply by H plus divided by ZN OH plus. So uh, that's how we could write it as a. So so here uh, uh, we gonna uh, we have seen the case of acid now we gonna uh, a brief uh, see a, a brief case about the bases also so in case of bases uh, we are gonna see a case about bases so if we are uh, using the respective of bases So uh, in case of bases, case 2 we are using it as a base. So in case of base, we gonna write like a uh, ammonium hydroxide NH4OH. When it dissolves to uh, it dissociates into iron NH4 and ONH negative. So uh, here we are using the term KB. KB uh, uh, dissociate constant for the base OH negative. Uh, then NH4OH. So we are using a terms for base. 
आ लाइक आई एम केस ऑफ डाय डाय एसिडिक बेस जिंक हाइड्रोक्साइड इट विल डिसोसिएट इन टू जेड एन ओ एच प्लस प्लस ओ एच नेगेटिव सो हियर इट इज के बी वन ए जेड एन ओ एच प्लस इन टू ओ एच नेगेटिव डिवाइड बाय जेड एन ओ एच होल्ड ट्वाइस नाउ आ जेड एन ओ एच प्लस इन डिसोसिएट्स टू आ जेड एन प्लस टू प्लस ओ एच नेगेटिव सो इन इट इज के बी टू के बी टू इज डिफाइंड एज आ जेड एन प्लस टू इन टू ओ एच माइनस डिवाइड बाय जेड एन ओ एच प्लस सो इन इट इज के ए के बी वन एंड के बी टू सिमिलर टू लाइक एसिड्स एम के ए वन एंड के ए टू सो अगेन वाई एंड डू एंड आई मीन आय सो राइट दैट आर आय ऑल्सो गिव द के बी एंड के ए टर्म्स लाइक केस टू केस टू वी आर यूजिंग फॉर एन आय इन केस ऑफ एन आय लाइक एसिटेट आय सी एस थ्री सी ओ नेगेटिव वेन रिएक्ट विथ वॉटर इट विल फॉर्म सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ एच प्लस ओ एच नेगेटिव सो के बी ऑन लेट से के एच वन वी कुड राइट इट एज एसिटिक एसिड सी एस थ्री सी ओ ओ एच इन टू ओ एच नेगेटिव डिवाइड बाय सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ नेगेटिव राइट के बी और के एच वन Not K H, uh, it is K H. Uh, not K H, but it is K H only, because it has only one anion, only okay, uh, one charge. Now, if we have more than one, like carbonate ion, C O three negative two, when react with water, it will give H C O three minus then O H negative, and H C O three negative will give H two O, and it form H two C O three plus O H negative. So it is like uh, uh, we could write it as for KB one or KH one, or we could write it as for KB two or KH two.